Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Where this your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on three big dogs in this fight game. We have Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champion. We all know Floyd, Mr. Billion Dollar Man himself, the man that helped revolutionize the game. Then we have Frank the Ghost Martin, the undefeated Taco Tenet at the lightweight division. Then we have that killer, the gorilla, Javante Tank Davis, the three division world champion. We all know Tank is arguably the hottest young fighter in the game arguably the face of boxing, and we all know how Javante Tank Davis get down. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, Tank want to send a big message to Frank Martin. You said you hurt me in Spawn. Now let's see if you can hurt me in a real fight. You understand? Javante Tank Davis want to let Frank know, let's see if you can do it under the bright lights with eight ounce gloves on, no headgear, with game plans involved. See me at my best. Great shape. You understand what I'm saying? Head on the swivel. IQ just popping off the charts. You know, I'm, I'm all the way focused and dialed in. Let's see if you can hurt me then. You know what I mean? We all know Frank came out and said he hurt Tank in the spawn session and things of that nature. We all know what Javante Tank Davis said about fighting Frank Martin, his message to Earl Spence. And um, we all know this happened in the Mayweather gym. You understand? Um, shots out to Frank, man. Big shots out to Frank, man. Frank got an opportunity of a lifetime. Like I said, you had a Devin Haney fan club, Faganites, and, and fan girls and fan boys hating on him for getting this big opportunity to fight Javante Tank Davis. But Frank ain't worrying about none of that, man. He know what's at stake. Him and Derrick James working on a hell of a game plan. We all know, you know, he's he, he sporing some, you know, big names to get ready for Javante Tank Davis. And, you know, things go get heated and, 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 you know, it's time to turn up. But Frank did an interview with Sigurd Talk. And, you know, he talked about the sporing session with Javante Tank Davis. How it was a good um, sporing session. How, you know, Tank could crack, but, you know, he was just in that mode to where he wasn't feeling nothing. Everything was like numb to him. And, you know, he hit Javante Tank Davis, hurt him, and things got heated. You know what I'm saying? They gave him all the confidence and let him know that he belongs right on the stage that he's at and that he is a big dog in this game and that, you know, um, Tank will have to prove that he can beat him in June. And June is right around the corner, you understand? Now, with all this being said, we all know this happened in, you know, Mayweather Gym. Uh, Floyd Mayweather gave Frank Mort, you know, his gear to go spar in and things of that nature. Um, like Frank said, he was sparring Tank homeboy. He ended up stopping him, you know. Um, early, which made Tank, you know, kind of pissed off and said, hold on, let me get in there with him and see what he re if he's really like that. Uh, we know how Floyd Mayweather loved to instigate big-time sparring sessions. He loved to see these youngsters in the ring getting it in to see what they really made of, especially in his gym that he called the doghouse, right? And we all know the doghouse rules. Um, no clock. Uh, you go until somebody quit. You feel me? And um, that's how Floyd get down. Some people try to sue Floyd before and things of that nature. The sanctioning bodies and things um, tell Floyd maybe what he need to cut that shit out because it's like you got these people in there fighting for real, even though they got on 16 ounce gloves with head gear. But, you know, it's still not, you know, um, legal. Now, Javante Tank Davis, man, we all know how Tank get. We all know Tank got that attitude to where it's kill to be killed. Either you with me or you not. You know what I mean? Either you with me or you not. Um, he want to make a statement. He wants to make a statement. He want to let everybody know out there that Frank Martin can't fuck with him. He did. He want to let Earl Spence know. He want to let Al Heyman know. He want to let the fans know. Especially he want to let Frank Martin know that if you got a little situation off this morning and you think you did something, I'm going to show your ass in a real fight what it's really like. You understand? I'm going to show you what this Tank Davis, you know, smoke really like. And, and you know, Shouts out to Tank for taking this fight because, like I said, a lot of people try to shit on him for not fighting black fighters. Oh, he only fight Mexican fighters, white fighters. He's not trying to fight no black fighter, no skilled fighter, nobody that's, that, that's you know, that can think in the ring. He only want to fight flat-footed, come forward fighters, you know, all that word ish. But now that he's fighting um, Frank, you got people out here trying to hate on the Frank Martin fight, trying to, you know, dissect it and try to make it as if Tank is cherry-picking Frank or if Frank don't deserve the opportunity because he haven't been in a title shot, which is bullshit. Tank deserve, I mean, sorry, Frank deserved the opportunity just as much as anybody. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to say it again. Frank Martin deserved the opportunity just as much as anybody. doesn't matter what y'all think or what y'all say. You feel me? Frank been in the ring. He's been putting in the work. He's been fighting top-quality fighters. You understand what I'm saying? 
top quality talent. He ain't just been in there fighting no little Rudy Poo's and they just jumped him up for no reason. So all you hating mother mothers out there, get out the way. But now Frank got to go in there and, and, and really prove that he can hurt Tank under the lights. You know what I mean? With the big crowd going. You have so many superstars and celebrities in the building. You know what I'm saying? Eight ounce gloves on. You know, this is where it really counts. This is what you work your ass off for. These are the fights you want to be in. It gets no bigger than this for Frank Martin. Nobody else out there he can fight, they can put him on the stage that he's about to be on with Javante Tank Davis. You understand what I'm saying? The biggest stage of his career, and he has to go out there, show up, and show out because you know this man right here is going to be watching. Yeah, Floyd Money Mayweather is going to be watching. You know what he put together inside that gym. You know what he was doing. He know exactly what he was doing, fam. You dig? Now, we all know that Floyd also has the sporing footage of Tank and Frank, just like he had the sporing footage of Tank and Devin the Dream Haney. You most definitely best believe he got the sporing footage of Tank and Frank Martin. You understand? Now, what would be, uh, 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 you know, just happen to fight up even more if he released some of that footage of Javante Tank Davis and Frank the Ghost Martin. You feel me? Give us a round or two from both cats. You dig what I'm saying? Let's see what Frank talking about when he say he hurt Tank and things get heated. Let's see Tank get in there and do his thing just to give us a preview of what's going down in June. You feel me? If I'm not mistaken, I think it's June the 15th, but don't quote me on the date. But I know the, the, the month is, is, is correct. You understand what I'm saying? But we all know Floyd hold these type of things to himself. Um... Spawn is supposed to stay in spawn and things of that nature. But, you know, nowadays, spawn is, you know, the 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 leapfrog for all these cats to feel like they belong. You know, they spar a few top shotters. They feel like they have a little success, and now they feel like they are the biggest of the biggest, the best of the best, the million-dollar stars. You understand what I'm saying? Until they get their ass in the ring with the smaller gloves and head girl, and you got to figure out somebody's game plan, you get your ass whacked off, and now you're looking foolish. You know what I mean? Now you're looking foolish. So, yeah, man, Frank going to have to step up to the plate and show us that he can hurt Tank. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're a thousand out. No, sorry, not a thousand. Hundreds of thousand people are watching to see what the fight turned out to be. Undefeated, man. Undefeated. This is, is, is Tank third undefeated fighter in a row. You know what I mean? And we go see if he can get in that thing and, and handle Frank like he was handling everybody else. Because make no mistake about it, Frank Morton is coming. Frank Morton is coming. His, his head is on right. Um, got a great coach over there in Derrick James. Um, go have a good game plan put together. We've seen Derrick talk on Sigo Talk as well. He talked about how you got to amp up the, you know, the, the IQ of Frank and keep him, you know, cool, calm, and collected because you are going up against the best of the best in Javante Tank Davis. You know what I mean? When we talking about over in America, Javante Tank Davis is that guy, you know? We know Canelo is the face of boxing, but Tank is that guy. So, like I said, this is the biggest opportunity of your lifetime right now. It gets no bigger than this. It gets no bigger than this. So, you have to stay down, stay hungry, stay focused, dial in, lock all the way in. Don't nothing else matter. But, you know, this fight with Javante Tank Davis and Frank Munt go treat it as such. You feel me? But with that being said, Tank is locked in. He's dialed in at 138 pounds already. So, Weight ain't a problem. All he got to do is focus on the game plan, go and earn how his business because he is ready to make a statement as well. He is ready to make a statement as well. So we will see, man. This fight is coming up very soon, man. Shouts out to both fighters. Once again, Javante Tank Davis want to let Frank Martin know, you hurt me in spawn like you said you did. Now let's see if you can hurt me under the big lights because I'm coming to knock your fucking head off. Straight like that. Shouts out to Frank. Good luck to you, dog. Opportunity of a lifetime. Shouts out to Tank. Hey, you want to keep that that train rolling? You got to handle Frank Mart. You dig? Can't wait to see y'all boys get it in. Straight like that, money be on to the next.